welcome again guys uh, please uh, subscribe and share this video as much as possible as we move on to part four where we're going to do the general journal batch listing and then also continue explaining how the question paper is structured so let us look at this here they are telling you what to do they say you use source document uh, and information provided below so it's not really a question it's what to use what tools to use where and then how but the where is the actual question watch the next setup up to here there is no actual question is in additional instructions is additional instructions we're gonna move the page up to see the actual questions okay just on the next page as you can see it says opening balances then it's used information in 1.1.5 which is in the previous page uh, 1.1.5 to process the opening balances of the inventory items and then they give you the date there it's very important what period you must use to capture the opening balances so but what is the key thing here is that you're doing what opening balances of the inventory items and if you check here yes you'll remember that you'll remember that uh, this part we already discussed it in, in, in a previous uh, video where we said this inventory journal which is the four marks uh, you print it uh, where you capture the uh, the quantities as per that video go and look at part three you will see that so this one is done already we remove it but this one is not done the opening balances of the general ledger accounts this one is 17 marks this one 17 which is very important so you have to then go and create general uh, general ledger in the general journal so let us go to it now so when you go to do this general journal you must know the following they say uh, uh, the key thing here is that print and update the badge and print a trial balance remember trial balance is another mark i think three marks and this one is seven uh, it's uh, this one is uh, 17 marks so it's quick marks for you on this one it's very quick marks for you so let us go, go to the general journal so by just doing one you're going to get two printouts and then collect maximum marks there guys remember for your general journal you have to come back to the general ledger accounts here on this list here because remember the balances are there and the, the ledger accounts are there so you have to come here and then do line by line and capture this on the general journal so let us go to the general journal quickly okay back at our our company uh, pen cafe and then what do you do you're going to process general journal so you go to process journals general journal click on it you, please uh, ignore my screen my screen is uh, the setup is different from yours because you're using a probably a desktop i'm using more like a tablet setup so your screen will be will look much different so what are the first thing to do when you come to the general journal the first thing to do is i'm going to highlight it the first thing is this settings do not do anything or process anything before you do the settings you have to do your settings first so you're going to click on your settings and then in your settings you must remember that when you process the general journal you are not buying or selling you are capturing the ledger balances so there is no tax so you untick tax and then because you are going to capture the balances and then the the the, the description is going to repeat it's going to say balance 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 so you're going you're going to click on repeat description and you do nothing on this year because you are capturing them for this year so you're going to leave that one out and you're going to click on contra search and you're going to go to the bottom of your your list bottom of your list 
you're gonna find triple nine uh, zero which is the opening balances you click on it you press enter on your on your keyboard and then the contract account is set up there then you click on close i don't know why they don't have a brand that says okay but yeah that's it you click on close the set your settings are done so that's how you do the settings for your your general journal and then from there you can start processing those balances okay i am going to process just as a, an example three or four transactions and then then uh, you will do the rest because i'm just demonstrating where to find things how to capture them and then how to print them the very important thing to note is that the closing balances from the previous uh, financial year these ones which are closing from the previous year they become open balances in the current financial year which means on the first of march these are going to be these are going to be your uh, opening balances so it's very important to know today so we let us go and capture them we go, i'm gonna capture only three and then as a demonstration remember your financial year opening balances start at what period one and your period one is march so you're gonna click there in march so it's gonna be first of march it's gonna be zero one and then zero three and then depending on how your computer is set up i'll say 2024 and then i press the tab key and it says the warning the the, the period of it just click okay there because sometimes our period are not set up properly as uh, compared to because the question paper sometimes is in the next year so you must ignore that as long as you know you type the correct date and then under gcs we are capturing the general ledger so the general ledgers are called they are the G. So the G stands for general ledger, C stands for customer, S stands for suppliers. So we're doing the general ledger. Then you tap to the next line here. And then you search. And then let's say I want capital. Use what? Description. You can use description. Or you can use the code. I click on description. I type on the C. When I type the C, you see I put description and I type C here. And then it goes straight to capitalize click on it and i press enter and then i go the reference whatever reference they they gave me let's say they say i must put balance bol maybe something like zero one i'm just uh, uh, now because i'm not looking at the question paper at the moment and uh, the description should be what balance the description will be balance and then you tab you must use the tab key capital is what Capital's got a credit balance. Let's assume the, the, the credit balance is 250,000 or 280,000. You tap 280,000 and you tap. You note that the contra account is already there because we have set it up. We have set it up. So it's there already. So ignore project. Then you tap to the next line. Come here, tap to the next line so that we enter the next transaction. The date will repeat itself. Then you just tap to the to the ledger account. Let's say the next ledger account is uh, drawings. I'm, I'm on description. I'm gonna tick on a DD. Uh, okay, I don't find drawings under the D. I can use the the code. Maybe the code. If I set this code, it's gonna be say five one. Uh, there is five for the drawings. Then I enter, and then I tap. I tap. I tap and then drawings will be on the uh, on the debit side let's say your drawings is fifty thousand. you tap tap to the next line just like that so you can you unfortunately as enforced you need to remember your ledger what do you debit and what do you credit because otherwise if you forgot your ledger and you put everything in one column you're gonna lose marks because your debit and credit your debit and credit must be correct that's the way you collect your marks and unless if the examiner gave you a, a, a the try balance with two columns where it shows you debit and credit then you just enter but if it's a straight line you need to know your debit and credit that that's very important okay after capturing some few transactions you when you print the preview looks like this with the contra it's gonna look like this 
Then, then from here you print and update and.